Qatar calls for calm as the US and Taliban trade blame on the Doha agreement. And a top official says Qatar was not impacted by Ukraine's grain crisis. Meanwhile, demands for private jets to Qatar soar ahead of the World Cup. And in sports, this Canadian footballer is set to donate all of his World Cup earnings to charity. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has called on both the United States and Afghanistan's ruling Taliban government to maintain and adhere to the Doha Agreement. The accord stipulates the full U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in turn for the Taliban seizing support for terrorism. However, the U.S. killing of Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri in Kabul this week has led the two parties to trade blame over violating the agreement. The Taliban have condemned the strike as a violation of the Doha Agreement, while the U.S. says it is in fact the Taliban that has breached the deal for allowing al-Zawahiri to remain in the Afghan capital. Now, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has meant Kiev has been unable to transfer grains to the rest of the world, triggering a global crisis. However, in comments made by Qatar's vice president of Qatar chamber, Mohammed bin Tawar al Khawari said the Gulf state has been unaffected, pointing to its self-sufficiency in stocking essential goods. The comments came as a ship carrying 26,000 tons of corn arrived to Turkey under the terms of a deal brokered by Ankara and the UN last month. Now, World Cup fever has caused a major spike in requests for private jets to Doha. That's according to DC Aviation Al Futaim, a joint venture between Germany and the UAE. The private jet provider says the company plans to cater to the needs of football fans by offering special round-trip charter flights via four-seater, nine-seater, and ten-seater private jets. This comes amid an increase in prices for flight tickets as well as a major spike in hotel bookings in Dubai and the surrounding GCC states. And speaking of the World Cup, Bayern Munich and Canada star Alfonso Davis says he will donate all of his World Cup earnings to charity in Canada. This comes as Canada qualified for the World Cup for the first time since the 1986 edition. The football star said Canada gave him and his family the opportunity for a better life, so it is time for him to give back to his country. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.